Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a GMC Sierra that generation here from year 2007 to year 2013. If you need to find where the fuse for the valve lifter oil manifold is located, which fuse controls the valve lifter oil manifold, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure to stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmission, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. We have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs. We have anything from American to German vehicles, Asian, uh, anything guys. So now uh, if you need to find, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do is just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so the fuse for the valve lifter or manifold where you can expect to find it we will guys demonstrate on this generation GMC Sierra right here now, you guys have uh, multiple fuse boxes in this GM GMC here, but we're working just one that's under the hood. If you open the hood and you come to the driver's side here, guys, okay, we have the brake pump, the brake fluid reservoir, and you have that electrical box. Open that cover here, and underneath you'll find the main engine fuse box. That will have a layout that will look like this one here. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So the valve, valve lifter oil manifold fuse, where you can expect to find it, it's just one fuse. Oh, by the way, if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools for GMC Sierra or any car at a really good price, quick shipping, we'll put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience, that way you do not waste money and time. The valve lifter oil manifold fuse, we need to come right here in that section. If we zoom in a little bit, the fuse that we're looking at, it's a 15 amp fuse, and we're talking guys about fuse number four right here that's a valve lifter oil manifold fuse that you will need to check if you have any questions don't hesitate to let us know thank you guys for watching and see you next time